Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to A Glittery Life. Okay, you guys, I haven't filmed one of these in a while, but the last time I filmed one of these, you liked it. So I'm filming another What's in My Mailbox, Volume 2, and um, I've got a lot of stuff to show you. I'm going to try to like get through it relatively quickly. Actually, I don't have as much stuff as I thought I did. Um, okay, so let's talk about the box the, um, that came this most recent. This is from Royal and Lang Nickel Brush Company, and they reached out to me and said, hey, pick out 10 brushes that you want, and we'd love to, we, we think you're fantastic, we think you're a really great artist, and we'd love to support that. So pick out 10 brushes. So I picked out 10, and let's see, it looks like they sent me one, two, three, four, five, maybe six of those, so in the biggest box ever for like this many brushes. Come on, guys. Um, with a sweet note that says, enjoy your new brushes from Royal and Lang Nickel. And inside, this is really funny. This is like a um, huge like grocery shopping bag, which is great because in, in LA, um, bags cost 10 cents. We all use recycled tote bags, but this is like insulated. So maybe this is good for like frozen stuff. So that's kind of cool. I love these bags. I have like 30 of them in my trunk at all times. So let's look at the brushes that they gave me. This is their Crease BC430 from the Silk line. That looks like a great brush. Let's open this up. Um, literally, I haven't even opened these up yet. This is my. This will be my very first. Um, oh, it's nice and soft. I'll, I will link their website down below too. And of course, I'll link their website down below for you. But this is a nice soft crease brush. You know what? I am working on a movie right now, and so I will go ahead and throw these right in my kit and test those out for you on set. This next one is from their Revolution line. This is the BX15. And let's see what this is for. I think I can get it out of here. Oh, I, I, first off, I really like the um, matte black on this and I like that it's really heavy. And this looks like it is a I think it's just out of shape maybe from being in its packaging but this looks like a really good like kind of dome buffer like powder um you could do a contour you could do powdering you could do blush with this you could do your all over like at the very end like powdering uh, and blending with this this feels really great this is a synthetic brush um but i like that a lot that'll be fun to kind of play with this is also from the revolution line too this is the bx25 and this is an angled synthetic uh, angled contour br brush right here. Um, I also do like these sometimes for under the eye concealing, but this is a really nice, um, you know, some of the other ones are a little bit more dense, like the It Cosmetics one and another one that I have, they're a little too dense and so it's too much of a contour. So this is gonna create a nice soft contour. Um, let's see, they sent me, this is from The Revolution also, this is a great pencil brush. This is the BX95. I feel like you cannot have enough of these like little pencil creases. This is so great for doing like detailed crease work or like just even under under the eye smudging it out. This is, I love these matte black handles. And I also really like the gunmetal ferrule. This is, these are really sweet looking brushes. This is, is this their pro line? Yeah, I like the way that feels. Another one from the Silk. This is the Contour Shadow. This is a BC265. Um, which is for applying shadow all over the lid, softening eye contour, um, diffusing shadow or pigments. Um, and this is natural hair. These, this silk line is natural hair. This is great. This is um, a little bit scratchy. This is probably goat. Um, but that's kind of sometimes when you're diffusing shadow, you do want a little something a little bit like, not rough, but for all intents and purposes, a little bit rougher. Um, this is also a great highlight. Um, brush and this is also good for doing some contouring so this is a good kind of multitasker even though it's meant for uh, the eyeshadow and then the last brush um, this one right here is also from the revolution line and this is the BX80 and this is just a flat shadow brush I love these I feel like you can't get enough of these I have a Chanel one of these that I just use all the time um, I do have that Sigma one that I have found myself reaching for um, my Chanel one's dirty, so I'm glad to have this in the rotation just for packing on shadow and 
and just kind of blending it out. So it's also really great for um, brow bone. So that's kind of exciting. I love makeup brushes. Um, and I just feel like I've been really blessed lately with a lot of makeup brushes. So that's really cool thing. So Royal and Lang Nickel. Happy to try those out. Uh, next, I've already taken this out of the packaging because I was going to put it in my kit. And then I realized, oh, I should film. This should go in my What's in My Mailbox. This is from Bio Ionic. Uh, this is the new flat iron that they've just come out with. And I love it. It's the ombre iron. And I love the color. This, like, blue to purple. Uh, so these just launched. They just sent this to me. I love it. I think it's so cute. And actually, I'm going to throw this in my pro kit also to use on set. Um, and I'll let you know what I think about it. You know, I'm just like really into the agave iron still. I'm not going to lie, especially like because of how color treated my hair is right now and how processed it is. I feel like using the agave iron is kind of like the best thing for my hair right now, but I do love bio ionics. I love all of their stuff that I've ever had from them and yeah, happy to use this on set. So I'll let you know what I think. Let me know if you want to review on any of these products so in the comments like as I'm going through just leave me a comment for what you want to see like a full dedicated review on um okay some more makeup brushes this is thanks to real technique so you guys know I got to attend the pixie woo event here in Beverly Hills recently with real techniques and they were kind enough to send me some other brushes so this is the real techniques um setting brush a lot of you rave about this brush and say it's one of your holy grails so I definitely wanted to try it out for my best brushes on a budget video that you can be expecting from me really soon because this one gets rave reviews, especially as an under eye setting brush. So, so I'm really excited to try this one out. And they also sent the um, blush brush. This also looks like a finishing brush. This is a great. This would be great for powder, but I can't wait to see how this like feathers blush on it's a little bit big for me for what I like as a blush brush but um I'm gonna go give it a whirl because once again it's one of the most popular real technique brushes um also how many of you guys have this set right here this is the limited edition duo fiber collection um do any of you have this what do you think about this do you like these do you like these duo fiber uh it looks like what's in here there is a um duo fiber eye brush a crease brush um, a duo fiber contour brush, which I do like a flat, like a brush like that for contour to blow it out. And then a duo fiber face brush. This is for lightweight application, blending face powder and pigment. So we'll try these out. These look nice. And then um, <clears throat> I already have one of these and they sent another one of the um, eye kits, which I'm really excited. This is the collector's edition um, exclusive. And these are the eye lining. This is the eye lining set. And I'm going to have a couple of these to give away here soon, so check out, check, check back for that. But I'm really excited to have a second one of these to stick in my Pro Kit because the Precision Liner Brush, which is this little guy right here, like this little tiny one, is one of the best liner brushes I've ever found. I cannot stop using it, so I'm really excited to have that um, in two places. <clears throat> so thank you, Real Techniques. That was amazing. Those will be really fun. Also in my mailbox, and I've already done a video on these, but I hadn't shown these. And so if you haven't seen my video on the Cover FX Custom Infusion Drops, all four of them, I will link that down below for you because I am like obsessed with these. They're so awesome. They're beauty oils. And just like the custom cover drops, you can mix them with all kinds of different stuff. So I haven't really shown these yet, except for in their dedicated video, but a lot of you didn't watch that yet. I don't know why. So I will link it down below. Head over after this video and catch up with that so you can see um what these are all about what i think about them what you do with them all that kind of stuff it's it's good it's it's worth watching you guys i think it's worth watching let's see what else um oh i got another rocks box let's open this because um i haven't opened this yet this has been sitting in this big box like waiting to be unboxed and um i really want to see what's in here because you know i was super on the fence about my last one i was kind of like mm, i liked one thing really out of the whole like set or whatever as always it's cute they've got the little trisha lee um card in here and let's see what this first little thing is looks like earrings obviously those are little ear jackets i've never had these before i've never had a pair of these let's see so they're just like a little bar like ear jacket and then they kind of like uh let's see if you can really i don't know if you can see that i'll try to zoom in on that then they kind of hang down with like another bar so I don't know I'll give those a chance they kind of look a little bit cheap to me but they're cute kind of looks a little bit like forever 21 quality and I bet it does not have a forever 21 price tag you know what I'm saying 
Um, whatever this is, it looks like a really big statement necklace. And I, oh, there's a big statement necklace. Oh, that's really pretty though. I actually really like that. It's got a really heavy duty chain on it. But I love the grays. I love the teals. I love that. Actually, that's beautiful. This will be really fun to wear. I'm going to try to wear this in a video coming up soon because that's really pretty. And then last but not least is a ring. Okay, cool. Let's see this. Is, I haven't gotten a ring from them yet. This is a tiny little ring. Just like a little bit of a bar. Um, let's see. Take my midi ring off. Probably fit on this finger. That's what that is. Yeah, it's cute. Um, so far this is a way better box than my last one so I will leave a referral code down below so you can get like a discount um I told you I wasn't gonna do it last time because I was kind of like mm, I wasn't too into it but I actually really like this box so I can feel good about endorsing it so I guess you just have to get a little bit more specific with your um your cue with your like stuff that you like because that's what I did after my last one I was like okay I'm gonna really put a bunch of stuff on here and I'm gonna really add a bunch of stuff so that I can feel like, you know, I like what they're saying. And then I think I'll save this other thing for a different video, um, cause I do have a fall fashion haul that I could put that in, but I got an awesome package from London Town Nails <clears throat> and I have a giveaway going with them right now on my channel on my, um, negative space nail tutorial which is this nail i'm like hanging on to this for bare like dear life it's starting to chip i mean i've had it for like a week so it's definitely starting to chip but i don't want to take it off because kate did such a good job and i love it but they were kind enough to send a bunch of stuff um for a giveaway and then they also sent me a bunch of stuff uh let's see they sent a bunch of different polishes and i kind of just told them i liked nudes um and that i was kind of transitioning from brights into um fall color so you can see like a bright red like a really kind of a dark a darker red like a light pink and a really cute rose color those are perfect i like those a lot um let's see these three uh looks like a like nude pink a beige and then sort of like a creamy beige um so that's kind of fun i like this polish a lot i am a little bit confused because on the website it says it's nine free but on the box it says it's five free so Anyway, it's like free of all the junk, so you can feel good about it. They also sent me the, um, their Cur Nourishing Cuticle Oil, which I'm really excited about. I need to start using that because that was one of the things that Kate said to me was that my cuticles were a mess and I needed to use cuticle oil. Um, they sent me, let's see, oh, this is a really cute sparkle top coat that they sent. Um, it's like pink with like tiny, tiny, tiny white glitter. Uh, this is the protective top coat, which I've already been using. Um, this is the instant smudge fix. Uh, this is the nail hardener, which I think is like the base coat. And then they also sent me this restorative nail cream. Let's open this up. Oh my gosh, this is fancy. This, this packaging reminds me of Chanel. That looks like a Chanel package. Fancy London town. And then look at the gloves. So this must be like, this is like serious business overnight like treat your hands have any of you guys ever done this before has anybody ever slept in gloves with um like a night tr treatment for your hands i've never done it before but i'm seriously into stuff like this so i'm gonna give this a try tonight actually that's really cool so anyway i think that's it for my like what's in my mailbox um if you like these type of videos thumbs this video up and if you want to see a review on anything just uh, let me know don't forget to enter the london town giveaway that's on that video and I'll, I'll link everything else uh, down below for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. See you later.